You know, every day in the morning when you, when you wake up, you, you kind of have a choice, right? We see tremendous divisions, we see great problems, we see tremendous conflict. And you can really let that define your outlook. Uh, and you can let that define your mindset or your attitude. But every day when I wake up, I acknowledge those. Uh, but I'm really motivated by how many people I see who get up every single day who still believe that we're all in this together. Uh, who are still willing to dedicate their energy and their time to looking out for one another. Um, and, and this is really, I think, such a testament to that, is the number of people who came together to say, you know what, we want to do better. We not only want to provide more opportunities for our students, we want to better integrate the energy of academia and a college campus with the mission and purpose of a health and human services agency. People say we're really committed to making sure that, that folks have access to quality, affordable health care, that the behavioral health services are integrated in a way that social supports and services are all come together. And what we're doing here today is not a great thing for the County of San Diego and San Diego State University. What we're doing today is a great thing for San Diego, for all of the people who will benefit from the innovation, uh, from the training, from the collaboration, from everything that we drive out of here. Uh, and I know that it's been years in the making. Uh, we were talking earlier, uh, I know Dr. Madanat has been involved and we you know, in the process of doing this, we had a little pandemic. Uh, I think uh, I joined the Board of Supervisors four years ago, and I say in the four years I've been there, we've had more disasters than like a whole Old Testament, like whole thing combined. But everyone, they never lost sight of their focus. And, you know, when I joined the board, uh, I said, and I've been, I've been unequivocal in this, I'm a health and human services supervisor. Uh, these are the issues that I care most about. This is my priority and my focus. And I have pushed to say we want our county to be more engaged to be bolder, to be active, to, to, to really be more proactive and, and be out there, but also to recognize that we need to be a partner, right? No one of these problems is one institution going to solve by themselves. It really does require us all coming together and figuring out how can we do something that has never been done before. This is not only the first in California, this is the first in the nation. And I think it's a model that can inspire others. Uh, and so I'm incredibly proud today to see us moving forward with someone who's been a great partner. And Dr. De La Torre mentioned this, San Diego State University is a world-class institution and a world-class community partner. Uh, when we needed help with Promotoris, San Diego State University stepped up. When we needed help in COVID with testing and with vaccines and with so many other issues, San Diego State University stepped up. And so I'm thrilled to see us taking our relationship to another level. Uh, the create, creation of the Academic Health and Human Services Department here, again, really is, is a pioneering step forward. Uh, and I think it's something that in the coming decades we will see replicated throughout, not just the state of California, but throughout the nation. And because the county's Health and Human Service Agency is an integrated health, housing, and human services department all in one, this partnership will include and be able to expand beyond traditional public health focus, and include collaboration with SDSU College of Health and Human Services and align with the overall shared mission of our Live Well vision in San Diego County, bringing these two great institutions, the County of San Diego and San Diego State University together. This is, partnership really is the equivalent of a public health teaching hospital. Uh, and I think it's something that we should really embrace. We spent a lot of time uh, over the last year talking about behavioral health workforce and shortages. Uh, and we know that those jobs are out there. Now, we got to pay folks better, but we also have to train them, and we got to insert them in, and we got to open up career pathways, right? And we got to make sure that we do that in a way that the folks who need the care are getting it from culturally competent folks who, who look like them and who speak their language and have shared experience, which makes us really think differently about expanding the scope of students uh, and expanding the focus and the prioritization. Uh, and so I think this partnership, which includes real life training, uh, internships, training, certificate opportunities, career advancements is something that is going to not only help us meet the need of putting people in the slots we need, but getting the right people in there. And so together, I think we can make a, a tremendous amount of progress. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's been a part of the steering committee. President De La Torre, we appreciate everything your leadership has brought. Uh, Dean Hooker, we appreciate it. Dr. Mana, thank you. You stayed in. You never lost focus. You kept pushing. Uh, Nick Machione runs an incredible agency. Uh, the County of San Diego and uh, has, has, has been pushed to the, to the limits the last few years with everything we've endured and everything that we want to put in place. Uh, but Nick, we appreciate the work you do. I know Dr. Wooten is here. 
our public health officer, Dr. McDonald, our chief medical officer. Happy Navy Day. Uh, <laughs> sir, we, we appreciate that. Uh, Chuck and Carrie, uh, and I want to say a special thank you to all the county workers who are here. Uh, every one of you uh, who get up every day believing the noblest motive is the public good. Uh, it is a team effort and everyone on the team plays their part. And I'm incredibly proud of our county workers uh, and everything that they're doing. And so I'm thrilled to be here today. It is an exciting step. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Nick said, you know, afterwards we're having a lunch and it's a working lunch. Uh, it's a lunch. It's a working lunch. It's talking about, all right, the signing's been done. Now let's get to work. Uh, which I think fulfills that impetuous sense of we need to do it faster, we need to do it quicker. Uh, the need is so great across San Diego County, and I think the innovative ideas this partnership will bring, really the possibilities of these two uh, incredible institutions aligning uh, will make a tremendous positive difference, and I'm thrilled to be here today and want to congratulate everyone who has brought us here to this day. So thank you for what you've done.